Hey, hey guys, it's me, 80s from Wolf Forward. Today, guys, I'm going to give you guys a quick update on some transfers. Obviously, guys, um, I didn't make a video yesterday because I was out um, on uh, I was out traveling, but I did a schedule a video for you guys earlier yesterday. So, I'm going to go ahead and discuss about the two defender signings as in Lissandra Martinez to Manchester United and Matheus Delet to Bayern Munich. Let's discuss about the two transfers briefly. I will be doing a transfer show Q&A. Um, probably going to be either on Tuesday or Wednesday. Right now, it's scheduled on Tuesday, but that could subject to change on um, just FYI. So make sure you guys subscribe and get notified and all that good stuff like the video if you did enjoy. And yeah, there will be a video on that coming up. We'll do a stream like that coming up very soon. Um, and yeah, so basically what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to give you guys my brief thoughts upon uh, Lissandra Martinez and Matthias DeWitt. Okay, let's start with Lissandra Martinez. Lissandra Martinez for me is a defender that... I haven't really seen too much of. I don't really watch Ajax. I don't really have the. I don't really watch Ajax like that. But I've heard a lot of good stuff about him, and he is a decent player. And considering how United defensively were abysmal last season, you know, we don't even need to discuss about how bad Harry Maguire is. Victor Lindelof is not that great. Eric Bailey is probably the only good option, but he's injury prone. So United really did need to get another center back, and I feel like he could do the mold and do the job there in that position because he is a player that he's. Uh, reliable he's capable of doing now my concern for uh, listener martinez is this though is that he is going to manchester united but he is going with eric ten Hag. eric ten Hag knows how they get and knows him very well i'm sure the two winked up well very together and i think he could get the best out of him and uh manchester united and remember guys this is a huge step up because uh, manchester united is a way bigger club than uh, ix in terms of thousand in terms of um, you know, uh, importance, and obviously there'll be a lot more pressure upon him and everything like that. And it'll be interesting to see how he's going to do everything. Like, who's going to get benched? Either Maguire or Lindelof. And I think um, Eric Ten Hag's confirmed that Maguire will remain the captain of Manchester United. So it's very likely that we're going to see a partnership of Maguire and Lissandra Martinez. So Lindelof might have to sit at the bench. Or he might actually do with the back three as well. So like I said, guys, it's a really good signing for um, uh, Manchester United. $57 million is the price. And given how expensive everything nowadays is, you really can't be, uh, really can't be bulge. Uh, you really can't budge, and you you have to like accept it. You know that's just how the market is nowadays. We can all thank Paris Saint Germain for what they did again for buying Neymar, and they basically made the prices to what they it is nowadays. So, um, like I said, let's see how he does. I mentioned United, and it's good to see United's making some good moves, man. Good, good moves, man. And now we have the other one, Matthias Delit. Now this guy, in my opinion, guys, is overrated. Now I'm let me when I say overrated, it doesn't necessarily mean he's bad. Keep in mind, he is still a good defender. I just don't think he's as good as we people thought he would be. He's not the defender that we saw from Ajax. He's not the guy that looks that great because I've seen some games for him, man. He's been horrendous, woeful. Look at the game against Czech Republic and the Euros 2020. That is a game prime example where Delay messed up. Look at the game against Villarreal. There have been some games where Dillard's been really, really bad. You know, but remember, guys, this is Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich are a lot better team than Juventus nowadays. And Bayern Munich are going through kind of a change in center backs. Remember, guys, because Sula will leave for Borussia Dortmund. Obviously, David Alaba has already left for Real Madrid. And obviously, Jerome Boateng has already left for Lyon. So... They needed to get a new center back, and it's good to see that they have their guy here. And obviously, they got Uba Makano last summer, and now we can see a partnership of Uba Makano and Matthias Dillard. And you can put Lucas Hernandez there in the left back position, or you can mold him to a center back. And you can put Alfonso Davis or left back, and the right back obviously will be uh, Benjamin Pavard. So, you know, they'll be interested to see how he does at the Bundesliga, because obviously, a Bundesliga will be, it will be a step up. You know, let's be real, guys. Bundesliga um, is going to be a lot tougher for him. And he's gonna have to adapt it as well. And let's be real, guys. That pressure, the expectations of Bayern is significantly higher than Juventus. Bayern, there's so much more expectations. And for Drew Nagas, man, considering they had just lost Lewandowski, they're getting Matthias delayed. It's good to see that they finally made some defender signs. They're actually making good. And this was an 80 million priced value. So obviously, some of that money they probably got from the Barca de Lewandowski deal will probably be used for this, um, and that kind of way. And so it's going to be interesting to see how he can do at the um, Bundesliga, man. Because like I said, guys, he needs to perform well. He needs to perform well. And if he can perform well at the Bundesliga, perform well at Bayern Munich, he can be a very good defender. you know. And so I want to see how Julian Nagelsmann can do him here. Because it's going to be interesting because, like I said, guys, 
offer. Um, him in particular, there's not really a lot of um, compatriots here. He, obviously, there's Graven Bruce as there. Um, you know, that he's um, also from, I believe, um, um, Netherlands as well, if I'm mistaken. Um, that's about it, though. So it's going to be interesting to see whether he's going to be starting for not. He'll probably start considering Bi uh, Bayern or losing Sula this summer. Um, and, um, and that kind of thing. Obviously, I don't think they'll put Hernandez as a center back. I think he's a lot better as a left back, but he could probably do the job if there's a center back. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do there because, like I said, guys, the pressure is high from there. So that's pretty much my quick thoughts on both these transfers. I want you guys to comment down below what your guys' thoughts are on these both these transfers. Do you guys think these are good transfers? Do you guys think they're bad transfers and everything like that? So make sure you guys comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe if you're not to like this video if you did enjoy. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my platforms. This is Christian below. Um, my YouTube, uh, my um, my Twitter page, my Patreon page, um, and also let's see what else, Discord as well, uh, Twitch as well, and all that good stuff, man. So make sure you guys like the video, if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new, share the video with your friends, and comment down below your thoughts. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.